G1 Climax 28, Day 9, Review of the Channel, Day 5 of Block A here. There's no undercard matches to really talk about here. We're going to go right into the block matches. Michael Hogan and Minoru Suzuki starting off. I was surprised this was the opener. Would not think this would be the opener, but uh, here we are. And, uh, they go to the outside earlier on in the match. Falcon Arrow from Elgin gets a two count. PK kick from Suzuki gets a two count. Both men start trading shots. Uh, armbar from Suzuki gets kind of into a Elgin powerbomb. A buckle bomb from Elgin. Suzuki goes for the sleeper hold, but Elgin fights it off. A shitty Tiger Driver from Elgin gets a two count. Like, he just... That looked like shit. Uh, I don't know really what went wrong there. Like, he, the way he, like, butterflied Suzuki's arms was fucked. Like, just the whole thing was fucked. Suzuki hits a, uh, his running dropkick spot. Uh, Suzuki hits this, uh, locks in a sleeper hold, hits the gotcha style pile driver afterwards for the win. Suzuki with six points. Thank Christ. When I was Suzuki won that match, I probably would have put my fist through the computer monitor if Michael Logan would have beat Minoru Suzuki. I will say that now. Uh, it's Hangman Page versus Evil. Next match, we got Evil larrying uh, Hangman to the outside. Evil does his chair attack. On the outside, uh, German suplex from Hangman Page gets a two count. Hangman does his moonsault off the ring post to the outside. That was awesome. Uh, back suplex from Evil off the top rope. Hangman kicks out a two. Hangman stops the STO. Both men do colliding layered spots. Uh, Evil goes for the German suplex. Hangman lands on his feet. Slingshot layered from Hangman Page. Evil kicks out a two. Headbutt from Evil followed up with a... Burning Lariat, fucking love that shit, Burning Lariat, where uh, the guy like holds him in place and Lariat's him. Gets a two count, Evil follows it up with the SDO, and Evil gets the win. Two out of two, starting out predictions wise, hell yeah. Uh, Evil with eight points, god damn he's killing it. Uh, Bad Luck Fall A versus Jay White, the next match. Uh, to start the match off, Jay White attacks Tongaloa, uh, they, which was great. Uh, strategy there, as that's, uh, you know, thing I've been kind of, it, it's weird how the heels <laughs> just have these great, great ideas of, uh, strategy. As they go the outside, uh, into the crowd, Hangman DDT from the mother rope from Jay White, that was cool, you know, that was big guy like Fale getting up there for the, uh, Hangman DDT. Fale counters the Blade Runner, goes for the grenade, Jay White moves, uh, Fale into the raft, of the course. Oh, hell breaks loose. Tongaloa gets involved. Tom and Tom comes in with a chair. Looks like to hit Jay White with it. Changes his mind. Uh, puts the chair down. With the gun stun onto the chair. Jay White counters it. Hits Tongaloa with the chair. Low blows Fale. Tom and Tonga comes back into the ring. Gun stuns Jay White. Fale hits the bad luck fall. And Fale gets the win. Fale with four points there. As that was, you know, decent little match. Nothing too crazy there as, uh, next match, go main event. Uh, Roshi Tanahashi versus Togi Makabe flying for him from Tanahashi. Makabe with, uh, the ten punches spot into the corner. Uh, Makabe lariats Tanahashi. Dragon school leg whip from Tanahashi. Both men start trading forearm shots. Makabe hits a power bomb. Tanahashi kicks out lariats from Makabe. Uh, Tanahashi kicks out again. The overhead spider belly to belly suplex on Makabe. Awesome. Job there goes for the uh, King Kong knee drop. Tanashi gets out of the way. Sling blade from Tanashi into two high flight flows. One from a standing position and one to the ground as he gets the win. Tanashi with eight points as well. Both him and Evil tied for first at the end of this day. Cool shit. There's that. We got to on to the main event and uh, match of the night. Kazuchika Okada versus Yoshiashi. It starts off with uh, Okada throwing a shirt at Yoshiashi, and they kind of kickstart the match that way. Yoshiashi getting really pissed. Uh, they start, uh, they take the match to the outside, into the crowd. Uh, there's this, you know, part where Okada throws Yoshiashi into some chairs, and then Okada just viciously <laughs> starts chucking chairs at Yoshiashi. Like, if he would have hit Yoshiashi with those chairs, he probably would have fucking ended his life. Like, he was chucking it. That would have fucked him up for sure. Running blockbuster from Yoshiashi. Okada counters a powerbomb from Yoshiashi into a hurricane run. A job move drop kick from Okada. Hell of a fucking callback here. As Okada hits Yoshiashi with, his, uh, with the first version of the Rainmaker. When he just drops down into like a 
clothesline. Uh, he did it against Yoshiashi in his first match from his host excursion at uh, Wrestle Kingdom 6. Which, uh, funny enough, that match was uh, touted very badly. Very bad reviews for that match. It went like five minutes. Uh, Okada beat him and people really didn't see that coming. As uh, Yoshiashi at the time in, in 2011 was really having uh, big matches with Rush in CML at the time. And people thought Yoshiashi was going to get a uh, a win there at Wrestle Kingdom. And then Okada beat him. And then he, the next month beats Hiroshi Tanahashi with the IWGP title. Uh, just a, a incredible upset. One of the craziest things ever happened for uh, Japanese pro wrestling at the time. And now it's like Okada's the goddamn man. But uh, crazy times, a mere seven years ago, as uh, Yoshiashi counters a Rainmaker with a great fucking layer. He killed him with it. Just destroyed him. Powerbomb uh, with a jackknife pin from Yoshiashi gets a two count. Running double knees from Yoshiashi. Okada kicks out at two. Okada drop kicks him to the back of the head. Then Okada hits the drop kick, as I like calling it, the uh, off the ropes drop kick spot. Uh, just fucking thing of beauty. Goes for another Rainmaker. Yoshiashi counters with an armbar, uh, which he transitions into the butterfly lock. Uh, Yoshiashi starts ripping off his tape of his arms and uh, hits a lariat on the Okada. Okada fires up. Yoshiashi shuts him down with a super kick. Backcracker from Yoshiashi looks for the pump panel half Nelson driver. Okada counter counters into a tombstone. Hits the Rainmaker for the win. Uh, we have a post-match promo. Okada yells with apology to Hamamatsu for having a boring match. Fans yell back, it wasn't. Okada fake cries. Tells him, you liked it. I'm so happy. Hamamatsu is my favorite place in Japan. Until the next place we go. Thanks for the support. As Okada really pulling over. That he's just a psycho now and a crazy. <laughs> and just, uh, is always on the verge of tears. When, uh, the, the fans like him and... It's, uh, you know, playing into the part where he's, uh, he's feeling lost and he's feeling like he's, uh, he's missing something now that he's lost his championship against, uh, Kenny Omega, kind of playing up to that some more. Okada with six points. For right, the end of day nine, here the set, the standings for block A, we have Tanahashi and Evil tied for first with eight points. Okada, Suzuki, and Jay White tied for second with six points. And just the, the funny thing about that promo is, how, uh, you know, saying, uh, sorry for the boring match. And it's, you know, I said it was the match of the night. Really, there was nothing too crazy on this card. But yeah, this was a, a very good match. And uh, you know, it's kind of the, the hinting of that piece of shit Okada, which I've always loved to heal Okada. So that was cool to see that. As, uh, that will do it for this review. A bit of a short one. I don't even think I went o uh, over ten minutes here. As, yeah, nothing too crazy happening. But there was some, some good spots, some good character development. Some, uh, you know, and, some, and the right guys won for the most part on uh, all the matches. So really nothing too bad, nothing to complain about. As that will do it. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow for Day 10.